Diamond Creek, we are a standard bread farm. We started in uh, 2005, and we had a farm in Kentucky. We actually have moved to Pennsylvania in 2011 because the awards here for breeders are so good. When we say foaling season, we mean like this is the busiest time of the year for us. Like there's not a lot of stopping. Every time you do it, it's exciting because you don't know like what you're going to get. You don't know what they're going to look like. Um, so it's, it's just always fun. Standard breads are known for their, they have big heads, <laughs> they have big bone structure, they're very hardy animals, they're very dependable, they're reliable. They're the kind that pull a cart behind them, so the harness, it's called harness racing. The standard breads either pace or trot, so they have different gates. The pace is like a racking gate where the legs move on the same side, and the trot is a diagonal gate. I just think people don't realize just the big, the magnitude of everything that it is. We have to have someone here 24 hours a day. They would depend on us, you know, when there's snow on the ground, everyone else is canceling, <laughs> you know, like snow days. Like we don't have snow days because, you know, they depend on us to be fed. When you're dealing with anim all animals in general, and, you know, especially a horse that's so big, you know, and foals. Foals are small, but they're, you know, it's like a child. Like they don't understand. So you have to have a lot of patience because you're trying to teach them just like you would a kid, you know, like you have to teach them how to behave and you have to have the patience to understand that they're not going to understand you all the time. And, you know, if you go into a situation angry or upset, you're just going to get that back at you. So you have to, you know, you have to learn to, you know, control your emotions a little bit and, and go into it every, you know, every day. And the best way to get a full come to you is to not pay any attention to them at all. Um, they're by nature extremely curious, just like your toddler would be. So the moment you turn your back on them and don't pay them any attention is the moment they're going to be in your back pocket trying to figure out why you're not paying attention to them. The thrill of seeing them go from this little baby and then you get to work with them and seeing them as adults is just great. Our big thing is, you know, you're trying to attract people to an industry and racing and there's a lot of misconceptions about the sports and breeding farms in general. And Diamond Creek is and my boss in particular has always been very big on transparency. You know, you're welcome here anytime. You're welcome to see our horses. You're welcome to see our barns. Like, we're happy to answer any questions, whether good or bad. It gives people an insight into actually what happens at these farms, which I think is so important. I mean, you come out here and you spend some time with some horses, you're definitely going to learn something um, about yourself and about animals in general.